time for Kyle's Weather Classroom. Anytime there's a threat of severe weather like tomorrow, we always tell you to have multiple ways to receive weather alerts, and one of the most reliable ways is one of these. This is a NOAA weather radio. Uh, this will alert you 24-7 when a watch warning or even natural emergency is issued. And I recently sat down with a meteorologist at Midland Radio to talk a bit about the history and the importance of this life-saving device. Outdoor warning sirens, the sound that many listen for when severe weather is barreling down. It's one way to receive important weather alerts, but it's not necessarily the most reliable way. Bruce Jones is a meteorologist with Midland Radio Corporation. NOAA Weather Radio was designed to be an indoor tornado siren, so it has battery backup. It'll work even when your city electricity fails. NOAA Weather Radios were first created in the 1950s, but weren't made available nationwide until 1967. It's an indoor tornado siren. It goes off automatically, and it goes off faster than your cell phone. It goes off faster than your outdoor sirens. They became popularized in the mid-1970s after President Gerald Ford designated NOAA Weather Radio as the official federal warning system. And the reason he did that was because one year prior to that, we had the tremendous super tornado outbreak of April 3rd, 1974. That tornado outbreak actually started right around the Quad Cities with some of the first tornadoes of the day. It ended up being a brutal assault of more than 100 tornadoes in 24 hour period. Lightning is one of nature's leading killers. The weather radio will go off for any of up to 60 weather alerts or emergencies occurring for your location you program. And you program that one for just your county, and then you leave it alone. You don't touch it. You don't do anything. It silently monitors the broadcast and works just like a smoke detector. If the National Weather Service needs to alert you, that desktop radio is going to go off automatically. While the desktop radio is considered the gold standard, emergency crank radios are also useful. An emergency crank radio is great when you have an ice storm, when you have a hurricane, when power is going to be out for days or weeks, because you can crank and generate your own electricity with an emergency crank radio, and that includes recharging your smartphone. When your weather radio goes off, you can count on KWQC TV6 to be on air and online, bringing you the latest potentially life-saving severe weather information. Kyle Keel, TV6 News. You can purchase a weather radio at your local hardware or grocery store as well as online. And if you need help programming one of these radio weather radios, it's pretty easy. But if you do need that help, you can uh, find a link to that help with some videos on our website, kwqc.com.